it's out and people can see our vision. It's just kind of, it's really cool. It's a yeah. really cool experience to watch this. We're Tyler and Todd, and a year and a half ago, we parked our RV in the middle of the Canadian forest and started developing a 10-acre piece of land into our dream off-grid home. From installing electric and water lines to our foundation and now building a geodesic dome home, we've been pushing ourselves to the limit to make sure we can live more comfortably than last winter. I feel cheap. <laughs> Today, all that progress continues of building a simple life together in the woods. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, which helps us get introduced to more like-minded people just like you. Come along. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It has gotten very chilly here in Canada the last few weeks and with our first major snowstorm on the way, we have a lot to do over the next 48 hours to not only secure this dome to the foundation, but to also get a heat source in here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we've got some bolts that we need to go around the dome and put a bar in, a sleeve, and bolt it actually onto the frame. That's the last step of making sure that the cover is properly secured, which is a big step because big step. that means it's not gonna blow off in the middle of the night on us. Yeah, so we're gonna tackle that first. I have to go saw off these bolts to get everything ready, so we're gonna get into it. Oh wow, look, it's lining up. Yeah, so we just gotta go around. Remember all that stressing you were doing? All right, so we just finished doing the bars all the way around the base, and it went pretty well. Still have to trim a few more off, but we wanted to get started on finishing up top. Hey. So Tyler's up on the scaffolding, and he's just tucking in the interior lining to make it look nice so we don't have it like draping down and stuff over the edges. This is gonna be our last chance to be up this tall because uh, obviously we're gonna take the scaffolding down. Yeah, so we're gonna take that out to make some space and fingers crossed get a um, wood stove in here in the next couple of days, maybe week, so we can have some heat so you don't always have to see our breath because it is getting cold here. So I'm going to set you down and help Tyler move the scaffolding because it looks like you're down on that side, are you? Yeah, I'm gonna be safe and lay down. We don't have an oh and department here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wheel tie. How's that? Perfect. Do you need me to hand you up any more of those clips? Um, yeah, maybe two more. So the clips are actually going on really easy, so I don't know if you can make this out, but thank you. So see how much more like clean and secure it is? Looks great, I think anyway. We're doing a pretty, pretty bang up job. Um, we're just backing in now. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna have to take a quick break from this. What? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we gotta pump all that water out. Okay. Can you can you lock the wheels quickly so I can get down? Um, just make it work without them lock. I don't think that that's very safe. It's a far way to fall, love. Yeah. So with the temperatures dipping down to minus 13 over the next couple days, we need to make it a priority to finish all of the water and electrical conduit because once the ground freezes, that's it for the year. So I'm gonna go down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get down and we're gonna get to dealing with all of that. Don't you love full starts? Oh, so ridiculous. It never starts. Yeah, I can see why people pay money to get this done. Even if you were doing a regular house build, you're not running this much conduit and this much water. I feel sure. like we just kind of always 
set ourselves up for extra work. Well, like, imagine how much it would be to pay someone to run all this conduit. Oh, We'd be broke. We were just saying that we needed to run and grab something for lunch. And look who showed up. Crystal and Jazz surprised us with Wait, food. Cheers. cheers. Real life savers in so many ways. Maybe Drive we'll safe. have to bring her Maybe with us. Okay. We'll see you in a few weeks. <laughs> see ya. Or swap and dog swap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's always so good to catch up with friends. Not only have we been super busy here at the land, but Crystal and Jazz have also been really busy building their own off-grid property here in Nova Scotia. And they're now headed out on a bit of an adventure. Although this wasn't so much of a goodbye and more of a see you soon, but we'll give more on that later. For now, I'm kind of just taking it all in and realizing that this whole project started a year and a half ago with us building a yellow tent right there to store our firewood for the winter. Since then, the project has grown and evolved, but through it all, we've never had a proper building to store our supplies, work on projects, and just keep things secure and safe. But all of that changes today. Today has been such a busy day up at the land, so I came home to grab us some snacks and mix us up some Athletic Greens, who happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Athletic Greens is a nutritional supplement with a jam-packed formula. It contains 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients focused on overall gut health, immune support, energy, and recovery. Plus, it has the added benefit of having pre- and probiotics, digestive enzymes, super green complexes, and so much more without the need to take multiple products or pills. Incorporating Athletic Greens into our daily routine has been such a game changer for us. We've always been turned off of greens and shakes because of the chalky bitter taste, but that's not the case with Athletic Greens. It's so subtly sweet, plus it's so convenient, which is really important if you're living a busy life. It's such an easy way to make sure you're getting all the good stuff you need. If you want to find out more about Athletic Greens, make sure you use the link in our description box down below because using that link, they're going to give you five free travel packs as well as one year supply of the vitamin D drops but for now I'm gonna finish shaking these up and head on back to the land today has been such a busy day I feel like I'm living three lives all in one day but it's definitely worth it Wow you've made quite a bit of progress yeah you took quite a while I didn't take that long here you go thanks love um, I can't get over how good this looks it looks so good yeah, nice and tight too. To what look to I go? What can I say? <laughs> All right, we don't have time to vlog. We need to just quickly get this done before we lose the light. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna have to do a tour of the garage later, because for now, we're gonna get to work, right? We got this. It's literally been an hour since the garage has been in place, and Todd wasted zero time <laughs> ripping the entire RV apart. Uh, look at don't this. Don't throw me under the bus for this one, because you were involved you brought the stuff from down under. Okay, so in the garage of the RV, I took out these few boxes, which is just like our mechanical stuff. Sorry, I just realized we're fancy people with two garages now. <laughs> <laughs> we got an onboard garage <laughs> and an in-place garage. No, but the plan is, is we only want to have things in the RV that when we hit the road again, come along with us. It's been very overwhelming kind of having like one foot in van life, one foot in living off grid on the land, I guess. It's sort of overwhelming. Like there's not enough space in here for everything that we need to be living on the land. And we're also like building, so we have to get material, but we don't have any, like we don't actually have like a proper structure to put everything in yet. So basically what we want to do is just keep everything in here that belongs on the road. So we are gonna go through every single item in the RV and anything that doesn't belong, it's gonna go in these bins so we can store them in the garage for the build and yeah, hopefully alleviate some of the stress that we're feeling. So that's the plan. It's gonna be good. We're just gonna, we're gonna get at it. We're gonna have a good time tonight. We're gonna have fun. Also, I didn't wanna interrupt your speech, but isn't it kinda My cool? Speech. The Frisbee fits perfectly on the scratch post. That's kinda cool. Meant to be. Meant to be. It's coming with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do find these like periods of like transition and change to be very stressful and I'm trying to like, you know. Be a good enjoy. person. Yeah. 
Yeah. We had a little bit of a tiff earlier today. It just like, it was a really busy day and everything just kept changing and it was, mm -hmm. it was just overwhelming. It felt like, so hopefully once this is done today, I'll feel a little bit better, but I'm feeling like pretty anxious right now. And I just wanted to like share that. So I love you. Me too. But let's get back to work. Okay. Yeah. This guy here. <laughs> Just <laughs> you do run a pretty tight ship, I have to say, but it's for the best. Like, we we need to get this done. Mm -hmm. It's gonna feel good each time we get a box done. It's a little bit less stressful. Yeah. Right. So let's get that first box done. Okay. <laughs> All right. You heard him. <laughs> time to get to work. Oh. Hey. Will it be less stressful in here for you too? Yeah. All right. We're gonna get to it. All right. <laughs> oh, that's perma. <laughs> okay, what's first? I don't know. I don't even know where to start. Um. Okay, let's start with our bin. This bin is called Outside, and it's stuff that we would use, guess where? On the exterior. What do you think, Lily? Love the boxes, boys. <laughs> nice touch to the living room. What is this again? That is to clean the barbecue. What's this? Also to clean the barbecue. <laughs> Surely to God we don't need two of them. We made a lot of progress. Good morning. So we stayed up pretty late doing all the organizing. We're loading it all up. Or well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it, are we? <laughs> Todd technically is loading it up. No, I'm going to help. I'm going to put you guys down. But we're going to load everything up and then bring it up to the land. And we can start organizing the garage. Did you look underneath? How it cleared out? Oh, no. I yeah. did. I wanted to look. Yeah, it didn't make sense last night for both of us to be out. Because, like, look at how soupy. Like... It's, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's like the worst time of year. We had to move the RV around, by the way, too, because we weren't getting enough solar. Look. Oh, wow. Lot of room for souvenir magnets. <laughs> a lot of magnets. <laughs> we should grab the bikes when we're up there, too. Oh, smart. Yeah. Get our bikes. Okay, anyway, we're going to head up to the land now. And, oh, still got some more bins. Yeah, I'm going to put... Get it. You just get in the truck. <laughs> no, I'll help. <laughs> it's the least I could do. <laughs> oh, this is why we can't have nice things. So not much exciting has been happening. We've just been spending the morning organizing the garage and yeah, we're open it quietly because the mic is Oh no, it's okay. So we're on load probably five or six of organizing this place. So yeah. It's coming along. I like it. So these beans will come out. They were only in for transport, so we'll take them out after. We're going to eventually like finish the space off so it's nice with a workbench back here. It's going to be really good. We're going to take gonna, it day by day. We're start tomorrow. So <laughs> I do agree. Like the ceilings are like probably like nine feet tall, which is really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe even more. I don't know. They're tall. But yeah, shiplap on the walls and then a pine ceiling. Yeah, I think would really tree. look really cool. Then, so, out here, I want to reuse the gazebo that we had over at the RV and have it go here off of this, and then it'll be like an outside workspace. So, in the summer and warmer months, instead of being inside, we can be outside working, but it's covered. So, if it rains, our projects don't get ruined. Plus, we have it, so it's a perfect way to reuse it. Yeah, it is a good idea. I think so. All right, well, we're just gonna continue making loads of all of our stuff and organizing here. We're just waiting for the guys to show up. Um, we're getting the deck spray foamed for the dome, which, which is, is really exciting. Super exciting. So Insulation's a big deal in Canada. <laughs> Very big deal. <laughs> so until I guess that happens, we're just gonna continue. Since I organizing. loaded most of these bins, how about you unload most of them? If we had an HR department, I'd be putting in a plan. Hope you stay. We come a long way since the early days. Always had a spot in the escapades. And a suitcase for the getaways. And all along you were always down. Showed up and would hang around. Singing loud. Standing so we've been spending the last few hours just watching the spray foam go in. 
I don't know if you can make Todd out, but he's way back there in the woods, trying to get the best angle that he can. But look how cool this is. And it's like just starting to snow. We're supposed to get a really big storm tonight. That's cool. That's it's really cool. cool. It's also just huge because now we'll be able to retain heat. There's never been a point of ever putting the wood stove in or bringing a heater in. Well, there's been no point because the holes in the floorboards. Yeah, it's been like this is just a big day. Plus, Tyler turns 30 next week. So it'd be really cool. We're hoping that we'll be able to spend the night in it and ring in the big 3-0. Yeah. yeah. I think that that would be like after how much work this last year has been, I like, I need that for my soul. Oh, the snow is so pretty. It's so pretty. Also, it's been a pretty good day. Um, while I was back there, I realized it's quite pretty. We might build a bridge across. It's just really nice. It's this one and his projects. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's never, never enough. Like, think of how much we've accomplished in just the last two days. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's build great... a bridge to, to where? <laughs> the other side of the pond, because I feel like it's like a really cool space over there. Look at those big trees. There's a clearing in there. It's a perfect hammock spot. That is an actually really good hammock spot. Yeah. Look at how pretty this looks from down here. The sauna. It's just really cool to see it coming together and like not just being in our heads anymore that like it's out and people can see our vision it's just kind of it's really cool it's a yeah. really cool experience to watch this we've been having a lot of i guess like surreal sort of like full circle uh -huh moments, moments like, if you watch oprah aha uh -huh moments lately where just um i don't know it just it feels really exciting so just thought we'd share that all right, we're gonna continue watching the spray foam go down. And uh, what, what are you laughing at? Just, it's just a good day. It is a good day. All right, good job, see you in a bit. Four hours of waiting later, we are finally allowed back inside the geodesic dome, as you can see. It's so, so cool in here. Like, I find Tyler thinks I'm going crazy. I find that even walking on it, it's more rigid because the foam has like made it even more in structurally integral. Integral. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't feel yes, like you're I walking know. on a on a deck. Like it feels like a sturdy setup here. It does actually feel a lot sturdier and it's definitely warmer in here even though it's a winter wonderland outside. Um, it couldn't have come at a better time. Yeah. Like it really couldn't have. The weather really changed overnight. So. Yeah. So in addition to what Todd was just saying about the foundation being even more structurally sound, there are... Structurally sound. Yeah. That's the word. Yeah. <laughs> There are a whole host of reasons why we decided to go with close cell spray foam insulation. Do you want to explain or do you want me to explain? I can give her a go. Okay. So we went with five inches of spray foam insulation, which gives us an R value of 35. What we like about the spray foam is it also acts as our vapor barrier, which is going to stop that ground moisture from coming up. And then on top of that, we're putting in our subfloor, which is an R value of five. So that means all in we're gonna have 40 for the R value in the floor, which is really good because we want this to be a warm space and since we can't really insulate more on the top, we wanted to make sure that we're doing as much as we can on the bottom. You do not give yourself nearly enough credit. Did I do good? You did really, really well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I listen, you know? Yeah. You tell me these things and I listen. This has you been- You try it. This has been like my main project to figure out all of the insulation and 
You, oh, you really, <laughs> to get hit. you really got it. So now what we're gonna do is we've got our chimney pipe, we've got our wood stove, and we have a hole that has a pile of snow mm. under it. But that's where the wood stove is gonna go. So that's what we're gonna get started on today. And we will see you next Sunday. See you Sunday. Toodles.